What's going on, my little piglets? It's your BFF Porkchop here, and I'm coming at you with a video about a crazy dream that I had. This dream, uh, I... <laughs> this is what I get for watching a horror movie, Silence of the Lambs, if anybody was wondering, before going to sleep. Every time I watch a horror movie before I go to bed, I always have these lucid dreams, these weird dreams. I woke up this morning, laid in bed for two minutes, and was like, what the hell was that? because I've even told my grandma about this dream as well as Jocelyn, and they both agree that it is just weird, and I don't know where it came from, but this is what happens. This dream has three parts to it. It's a three-parter. It's a trilogy. It's a trilogy of a weird dream. The first part of this trifecta of weirdness is I pick up Jocelyn's grandmother from Amarillo, which is weird because this woman was neither of Jocelyn's grandmothers. They say like in your dreams, when you see faces, they're faces that you actually know, faces you've actually seen. Like when you see a face of somebody that you've never met before in your dream, it's somebody you've actually met in real life. So I think that's kind of creepy. All day long I've been trying to think, who is she? Because she was an older woman, glasses, gray hair. Yeah, it sounds exactly like her grandmother. But I was like, okay, I don't know who this is. I take her to Albuquerque. From Amarillo to Albuquerque is about a four hour drive. So we go to Albuquerque and we go to this park. We stand there for five minutes while she's drinking a sangria, which is weird now that I really think about it. And then she's like, okay, so let's go home. So we were literally there for five minutes and then we drove back. I don't know where grandma went, but she's not anywhere else in this dream. The second part of the dream is my grandmother, my three-year-old niece and I, all three went to Portalis, I guess, to help Jocelyn move. That's the only sane thing that I can think of. And we go to this grocery store called Super Save, and Grandma parks in the parking lot, and she gives me money to go buy groceries. So I go in, I get the stuff, I check out, grab all my bags, I go to the exit. Right there at the exit is a guy that is curled up under a rug, sleeping. And so I was like, well, this is kind of weird. I should go tell somebody. So I got the manager's attention. I was like, excuse me, sir. And right as I said, excuse me, sir, this guy just shoves me out of the way and says, do you know that there is a homeless man using your rug as a blanket and he's sleeping on the floor at the entrance of the store? And the manager said, yes, sir. I am very aware of the homeless man. He comes in to escape the heat during the summer and he comes in to escape the cold during the winter. So as long as he doesn't steal anything or bother anybody, we don't call the cops on him, we just leave him be, and then he eventually goes away. And the guy's like, see, this is why you guys are going out of business, because you let the homeless community run your lives, and you're running the store down to the ground, because you do everything that they want you to do. I am never coming back to the store ever again. And then he shoves me again and walks out. And the manager looked at me, he's like, can I help you, sir? And I just looked at him, and I just walked out. I was like, nope. I grabbed the stuff, went into the car. And for some reason, my niece evolved into my sister Kayla. From there, we drove to Taco Bell to get something to eat before we went to Jocelyn's, I guess. My grandma already ordered a head. She ordered food. I was like, who is this food for? And she's like, oh, it's for Mallory and Cameron, who are my cousins, which I see probably once in a blue moon. Mallory, last time I checked, lived in the Lubbock area. And Cameron, last time I checked, lived in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So I was like, I don't know why they would come help us. So grandma's like, but we haven't ordered, so go ahead and order. Grandma goes up to the counter, which I knew this was a dream because she ordered first and grandma never orders first. So she goes up to the counter, orders her food, and then goes to the counter where you wait for your food. Kayla and I go up to the counter. This guy from the back comes and pops on the register. I see him look at Kayla and then he looks down and he looks at Kayla again. He has like this, this just, just, just look on his face. just. And I hear him mutter under his breath, I hate you. And then I looked at him, I said, excuse me? And he said, yeah, your sister's wearing a Boston Red Sox shirt. I hate the Red Sox, so I hate your sister. Which is weird, because I don't know how he knew that she was my sister. Which is another thing that's weird is that we are Texas Ranger fans. So why my sister had a Boston Red Sox shirt on, I don't know. Maybe she lost a bet. I don't know. Maybe she converted. When it comes to like boyfriends or something, they're like, I love this team. And Kayla's like, oh, I like that team too. <laughs> Sorry, I had to rag on my sister there for a sec. It's like, okay, and he's like, yeah, I'm a Cleveland Indians fan. We have a high military fan base. The Cleveland Indians are the only team in baseball that have a high military fan base, which I was like, oh. I was like, oh, so you're a Cleveland Indians fan? And he's like, that's what I said, idiot. I said, okay, man, you better check yourself because you not only insulted my sister, you insulted me. And you need to apologize to her and you need to apologize to me. And he's like, I'm not doing shit. 
okay man you want to start something i will jump across this counter and i will start something with you goes from around the counter and i'm standing face to face with this guy and this guy's like six foot four and he's like 300 pounds and i'm six foot so i'm like right here he shoves me like just shoves me this is the third time in my dream that i've been shoved i don't like this anymore so he shoves me so i just shove him right back and he goes ho 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 I was like, why, why are you laughing? What's so funny? And he's like, you just assaulted me and we caught it on camera. You're in trouble now. <laughs> and he points to the corner and I see a camera. And he doesn't even take our order at this point. He walks to the back of the restaurant. This is a weird layout because I've been to the Taco Bell in Portales. It is a small Taco Bell. It, I guess it turns out it wasn't big enough. So they tore it down and they made like a like a taco like a mega Taco Bell that was like three times it, bigger than the one that they have now. There's like a hole in between the kitchen in the front and the back. So you could see the back of the house, you could see the front of the house, and you could see the kitchen. Between the hole, he goes and sits down at a table with I assume his family, because it looked like his mom and his dad his, and his sister, and he's just shouting curse words at me left and right. He's like, You son of a <laughs> you mother <laughs> you piece of <laughs> cussing up a storm and I was doing it right back at him I was like yeah come over here and talk more I will kick your ass and then like I eventually just like <sighs> and I look at one of his co-workers and I was like who is this guy and then she gets all like really scared and nervous and then she puts her head down and she walks away and then another one of his co-workers was like I'm sad and I was like why are you sad bro and he said I hate the weather outside it's too hot <laughs> and I said yep summer sucks I'm right there with you bro can't wait for fall and then I woke up that that's that's where i woke up that was my dream so the first part with the grandmother second part with the grocery store and the third part with the taco bell fiasco so that's my dream have you guys ever had any weird dreams once again let me know down below facebook vine twitter snapchat hit that subscribe button right there if you guys are interested in more videos like this where i don't know like a vlog type of thing like a weird dream a experience in my life etc etc let me know and i will get these videos out to you guys food reviews will be back next week i promise as always my little piglets call them pork chop Loves y'all the most. So y'all take it easy, guys. And I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys.